Hey Dons, welcome back to CCTV. I'm Jack Frame. And I'm Julia Way. Today is a great update, so be sure to check Aries. Remember, there's only five weeks left of school before finals. And if I were you, I'd start studying now. Already done. Now, let's go to Rachel, who caught up with Los Locos, our school spirit section. Known previously as the Sea of Red, and now bringing it back to Los Locos, our student section has really stepped it up this year. The attendance at games is up, our spirits are high, and people are really recognizing our improvement from previous years. Let's hear a little bit more about our student section from our very own Rachel Sellner. What's up, Dons? I'm here with Preston Siebel, the head of the student section. So first off, why did we change the name to Los Locos this year? Well, we changed it, you know, to bring back some uh, old spirit, to get some more uh, people in the stands uh, supporting us more. Uh, you know, new year, new us. Wow, I really like the idea of bringing back some oldies but goodies. Now, Preston, what are some ways that students can stay updated? You can stay updated by following us on Twitter at CCHS Los Locos or by following me on Twitter at Preston Stiebel. Who knew it was so simple to stay updated? Also, what are some rules for Los Locos? Well, this year we came up with the Ten Commandments for Los Locos. The first one being seniors are the only ones that are in front. The second one is if you're not going to cheer, then leave. Uh, the third one, stay until the end. The fourth one, follow the theme. The fifth one, take direction from spirit leaders. Sixth one, be quiet during offense. Number seven, be on time. Number eight, five reps and then stop. Nine, underclassmen have respect. And number ten, bleed red and gold, rah rah dons. Well, those are some solid rules we all better follow. Well, stay spirited, dons. With CCTV, I'm Rachel Selner. Back to Jack and Julie in the anchor room. Thanks, Rachel. Everyone should always try to get close to the action and be a part of Los Locos. The SAT is tomorrow. Good luck to everyone taking it. We know you will all do great. Don't forget to stay hydrated, Dons. And don't forget to pack a snack. This past Wednesday, we celebrated another all-school liturgy. Thanks to everyone for the awesome participation. And Junior Retreat leaves next Monday. For more on Retreat and other religious news on campus, let's go to Arcelita and the Light Team. Good morning, Dons. I'm Arcelita Martin, and I am happy to welcome you back to the lighter side of CCTV. The Saint of the Week is St. Therese of Avila. Seniors, with college apps and all, don't forget to send a quick prayer up to St. Teresa, as she is the patron saint of headache sufferers. And please keep Mr. McVeigh's and Dr. Collins' light groups in your prayers as they go out on service next week. Now let's catch up with Ms. Delaney Grazier for some news on light. He's been an educator in multiple states, including Massachusetts, Oregon, Texas, and now California. He helps many students at Cathedral Catholic with their faith formation. His name may sound scary, but he would never hurt a fly. Let's hear more about Mr. Hurt. I'm here with the new Director of Service, Mr. Hurt. So, Mr. Hurt, being a new teacher on campus last year, do you have any plans for service at CCHS in the future? I do, I have big plans at, uh, for service here. Um, and the big thing is just to expand opportunities for students. Um, as most people know, we have the trip to Nicaragua, but we'd like to even um, include more opportunities uh, here in San Diego, nationally, and even more uh, internationally. I'm sure our service classes are looking forward to that. And Mr. Hurt, what is your favorite type of service to be involved in? My favorite type of service um, was this uh, organization I worked with called Back on, your, Back on My Feet. And we would run, um, we would get up in the morning and we would run with um, homeless people uh, or people who were living in a homeless shelter. And it was so, it was so much fun because running is such a great metaphor for, for life. And um, I just remember, I'm not the best runner, and I just remember me and this guy, his name was Zulu. And he and I would like hang out in the back and like we would just like, we would like come in like late and just be chatting up a storm. But it was so much fun. It was really good. That does sound like a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Mr. Hurt. For CCTV Light, I'm Delaney Grazier. Back to you. Thanks, Delaney. We're so blessed to have you, Mr. Hurt. Blessed Sacrament Parish is in need of volunteers to help at their fall festival on November 7th. They need high school students to help in a variety of areas at the festival. Also, Father Joe's Village is in need of volunteers to help with their 5K race in Balboa Park on Thanksgiving morning. For more information on both of these service opportunities, please see the current service opportunities page on Cathedral's website. Lastly, please keep the juniors attending retreat in your prayers as they depart this upcoming Monday, November 9th. And for those attending, pack warm clothing as it will be very chilly. For CCTV, I'm our Salita Martin, sending it back to Jack and Julia in the anchor room. Have a delightful weekend, Dons. Thanks, Arcelita. 
The food drive started this past Wednesday, so remember to bring non-perishable food donations to your Gold Vibe class. Winter sports tryouts begin next Saturday, and good luck to everyone trying out. We know you'll all do great. Speaking of sports, let's go to Cole for CCTV Sports. What's up, Cathedral? I'm Cole Mueller, and welcome back to an exciting week of sports. Starting it off with your Dons varsity football team, who beat Lincoln last Friday 21-0. Senior Wyatt Schmidt had a blocked field goal, Senior Hogan Irwin had a rushing touchdown, and Junior Tate Haynes had one rushing touchdown. The boys are now 1-1 one one in league, and they play Mira Mesa tonight at our own Manchester Stadium at 7 p.m. Tonight is a big night for our seniors, as it is senior night, and it may be the last time the Dons play at home this season. So come out and give the team all the support they can get. Now, bumping it on over to your girls volleyball team, who beat Our Lady of Peace last week three games to zero. The girls are now 8-0 in league and 21-2 overall. They play La Jolla today at La Jolla at 3.30, so good luck to them. Now here's Preston who caught up with your Dawn's man's team. Everyone has a hidden talent, and so why you think they can just throw, catch, and defend extremely well? Well, think again. The man's team has proved that our football team has much more to offer. Here's Adriana and Preston who caught up with more of our very own man's team. I'm here with two choreographers of your man's team, Kelly and Sarah. So Kelly, how did man's team start? Well, man's team originally started by dance team incorporating them into our spring concert, which is our biggest concert of the year. And then as the school got to be more excited about them and became bigger fans of our man's team, now we have them at rallies and we might have them in our winter concert. So yeah, that's how it all kind of started. Awesome. And how do you decide who choreographs the man's team dances? Well, for the rally that all you guys saw, Kelly and I choreographed that dance, but chore choreographing man's team is open to anyone on varsity for a spring and winter concert. <laughs> awesome. And who do you think has the most potential out of the group? Well, Kai has a lot of sass, so that is really promising for the season ahead. And Dan really hits those moves hard. But they're all great. They're all great so. dancers. <laughs> hey Dons, Preston Steeby here with Patrick McLaughlin from the Varsity Man's Team. So Pat, since you're on the Varsity football team, does Man's Team interfere with it at all? No, not really. We usually uh, just come into the dance room after our football practices, uh, dance our little hearts out. That's awesome, that's awesome. Uh, how are the practices? Are they rigorous or are they easy? Well, we usually start out with a good 30 minutes of stretching because we don't want to uh, injure ourselves Manson too hard. Um, but after that, we just go through our routines with our captains and uh, try to try to perfect them. I feel that. So can you show us little dance moves, you know, ones that you've been practicing? You know, I'm going to have to say you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that because uh, we try to keep all our moves top secret. All right, well, I'm Preston Stiebel for CCTV. Back to you in the anchor room. Thanks, Preston. Your Dons Varsity Boys Water Polo Team beat Coronado this week 11-9. to the boys play Marietta Valley at home today at 3.30, so come out and support. CCHS surf team defeated Woodrow Wilson High School this past weekend amidst ideal surf conditions in Oceanside. The team versus team competition was in the balance when freshman Brendan Davey delivered the knockout punch with first place in the bodyboard division. Quite a showing for this first time competitor. We saw notable performances by freshman Jamie Legasati and Ben Wallerman, with veterans Kyle Climes and Noah Sullivan helping take home the victory. CCHS was well respected in the individual competition, with at least one surfer in each final. Carly Bizak continues to make her mark on the Scholastic Surf Series, with her second final in a row, finishing fifth in girls' shortboard. In boys' longboard, Nate Bizak shook off a disappointing performance the week before, winning his team heat, gaining valuable points, and progressing all the way to the individual final, finishing fifth overall. Finally, Garrett Cleary was the man. Winning heat after heat in boys' shortboard, he finished second overall and put the rest of the boys' shortboard field on notice. The team takes a break in November, but looks to take charge again in December, right before Christmas break. Well, that's all I got for sports this week, Dons. I'm Cole Mueller. Now back to you in the anchor room. Thanks, Cole. For all you service buffs, the Caritas application is due next Thursday. Be sure to turn in your application if you've completed over 100 Christian service hours. Now. Grab a seat and a bag of popcorn and get ready to hear about CCHS Drama's production, Midsummer Jersey. As some of you know, Cathedral has an award-winning drama program which features two full-length main stage productions yearly. Here's Dylan with a little more information on the drama program. Hey Dons, I'm here with Miss Wilson to learn about our drama class. Do you have any up-and-coming plays? 
Actually, we do opening on November 13th is Midsummer Jersey, our fall show, which is kind of a modern retelling of Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare, only set in contemporary New Jersey, the Jersey Shore. Nice. And so in order to do that, how do you get into the actual play? Well, we have auditions for each of our school productions. Um, in the fall, we had auditions the second week of school, and auditions are open to everyone. You don't have to be enrolled in a performing arts class to be eligible to be in a play. Uh, so anyone can audition. We had auditions, we had callbacks, and then we cast the show. We have 27 awesome people in our fall show. Nice. How long does it usually take to prepare for your roles? Well, we have rehearsal four to five days a week for two to three hours, and then on your own time you have to memorize your lines, and then we have special scene rehearsals if you have a counterpart. Do you recommend that everybody comes out for the drama class? Yes, I think everybody should take drama if you have a chance to a cathedral, and then also audition for our upcoming winter musical Bye Bye Birdie, because it's a great experience to meet a lot of new people. Well, you heard it here, Dons. I'm Dylan Page. Come out and join the drama class, and sending it off to you in the anchor room. Everyone be sure to get your tickets and support your fellow Dons. You know we'll be there. Lastly, there's no school next Wednesday for Veterans Day. Be sure to take a moment to honor all those who have served our country. That's all the news we have for you this week. Remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a Don. Don. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.